What's going on everybody? Thank you for joining our channel again. We appreciate those who have subscribed, those who liked our video, and also those who are leaving comments. Today we are gonna be at Apple Mountain Golf Course here in Placerville. Um, it's about an hour, what, northeast from Sacramento? Yep, it is gonna be a par 70 course. We're gonna be playing from the Blues today. It's gonna be playing 5,990 yards from the Blues. Uh, this is one of the most beautiful courses I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, I'm super excited to play here today. We're going to be playing some nines today, just like we did at our Empire Ranch video. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't remember, if you get first place, if you win the hole, you get five points. If you come in second, you get three. And if you come in last, you get one. And then if you tie the hole, we just split it up in nine. So, so it's all, our scores are always going to add up to nine. And today, playing with us, we do have a returning guest. If you guys don't remember Keith, up, big guys? bomber. Big bomber guy who hits the ball super far. Not here. Key, Not tell us course. tell us a little bit about this course. This course is all about course management. Um, you're not hitting a lot of big balls off the tee. You got to play it to certain areas, and the greens are not easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Keith. Uh, Keith has played at this course before, but this is both Ryan and I's first time. And like I said, yeah, just driving up to it, it's one of the most beautiful courses I've seen, and I'm very excited. So. Yeah, we'll see you guys on the first tee box. All right, here we are at the first hole here at Apple Mountain Golf Course. Uh, we are going to be playing from the blues, maybe, maybe combo today. Um, so maybe a mixture of both blue and whites. But first hole is a par four, playing 400 yards. It is very downhill, uh, so you want to account for that. Maybe add an extra 10 yards to your swing. There's some hazard, both to your left and right. But yeah, let's see if we can start off with the... Uh, Good tee shots here and start off with some pars or birdies. There you go. Yeah, yeah boy. Nice and weird. In street. Yeah. Oh, baby. Wow, we look like you know what we're doing. Started off pretty good this morning. Ryan, what do you have? I got about 165. Haven't, uh, Swung my irons very well today. <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes. Hit it well. It's headed straight for the green. If it's enough club, it'll be right in the middle of the dance floor. Nice shot. All right, hit a shot right down the middle. I'm just gonna take an eight iron here. Got about 145 left to the green. So I'm just gonna hit a smooth eight iron and try to get it up there. Hit it well, it's going a little bit to the right. Should be on the green. Yep, just on the little back part in the shadow right there. Ooh, hit it really well. Just to the left of the flag. Oh, just bounced off. Alright, so that's Keith's ball. Just bounced right off. He's got that. I'm on the green right there. And Moose is right. Moose is right over there. Man, these things are fast. Really fast. Get up the hill. Good par. Nice. Let's go. Way to start it off with the par, Ryan. Yep. So what, I got five points right there? Oh yeah, that's right, we're I playing. five and you guys both tied with bogey? We both yep. tied with bogey, so we both got two each. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, we're on hole number two. It's about 154 yards. As you can tell, it is very downhill. So it's probably playing like 130. I don't know what it is, but definitely an experience and we'll try to figure it out. Let's see if we can hit some good shots. We hit it well. It's going to the left side of the green. Let's see if we can see it land. You uh, see it? All right, Keith is swinging a pitching wedge. Uh, hit it real well. He pushed it to the right though. If it has enough, it should be fine. It looks like it hit somewhere in those trees. All right, let's see what Ryan can do. What are you swinging, Ryan? Uh, pitching wedge, and I hate how this ground is uneven. Uh, hit it up. High, it's just gonna be just to the right. It's gotta go. And he's Ooh, just short of the green. 
All right, so I hit a good shot, just short. It's hard to know the length, right? I use a, I club two down, and luckily, I mean, I guess the club I had at first would have been perfect. And the moose is looking for the ball. We lost it in the sun, and then Keith went out right over there. See what he can do. Ooh. Don't catch the ridge. Oh, stay on top. All right, so I ended up with that. Oh, there it goes. That's good speed. Nice. All right, so after hole number two, uh, Keith ended up with a double bogey, and Ryan and I both ended up with a bogey. So Ryan and I are gonna be taking away four points each there, and Keith is only gonna get one. Uh, Ryan should have won all five points, but he did miss a, uh, a little knee knocker four footer, but sometimes those can be the toughest putts, so. Yeah, let's see how hole number three goes. All right, here we are at hole number three. It is playing 382 yards today. As you can see, there's a lot of trees in front of us. Uh, that stake out there is about 250, and that's about where you want to hit it. So probably not a good idea to use driver, driver, but we're not the best golfer, so. At least I know it's a bad idea for Keith to use a driver. Maybe I could. Moose hit is out. He's dropping, hitting three. Ooh, hit it right at the pin if it's got the right distance. Nice, he's on the green. Nice shot, Moose. All right, here's Ryan's ball. He pulled it to the left a little bit. It's got a decent lie, though, and a good look from here, so. I'm on an awkward hill. Yeah, he is above the ball, so it's gonna have a natural fade. Let's see what he can do from here. Right. Top it a little bit, but it is going towards the green. Just rolled through the green and rolled off to the back. Not a bad shot though. All right, so Keith hit a good drive. Right there. It's going to there. Oh, just a little long. Around the edge. All right, so here was my third shot. So I'll be shooting for par right there. Uh, Keith just missed off the back and Ryan's rolled straight through the green. He's right over there. And Keith has a little uh, tough chip. It's really downhill, so he's got to put a lot of finesse on that. I hit kind of hard. Oh, no. Roll down the hill. He actually placed that perfectly. Hit it the right way. You use it as a putter. Get in the hole. Oh, let's oh. roll through. Nice. That was a good shot, dude. <laughs> Alright, so Keith won that hole, got five points. Me and Moose got two. We All both right. got bogeys, he parted. it. Can you stop tying you guys? <laughs> By the way, if, if they're beating me, it's because I, I forgot my cleats today, so I'm wearing just regular old shoes. So if I lose, I have an excuse at least. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we are at hole number four. It's playing 170 yards. Uh, it's pretty straight up. You just want to hit a good shot right down the middle. Stay away from the left and the right, because you don't want to hit the trees. So let's see what we can do here. Headed just to the left of the green. Should be a good shot if it has enough distance. And I did not see a drop. Oh, he thinnied. It's not a kick. Did you? <laughs> yeah, it's right by one of those trees. Well, that's good. Oh, hit a little bit to the right. Oh. oh my god. It bounced. On the green, bro. No, it rolled down. He's on he's short. Rolled. But he hit one of the top he hit the top of the tree right there and knocked it down. Dude, 
Dude, you barely were like on the edge and that thing just hit a branch and stopped it. Oh, I hit another tree and kicked down. And then Keith's was short right there. Ooh, he hit it well. Oh, I just rolled off the back of the green. He didn't get any spin on it. He just rolled it out. All around the fringe. Oh, nope, rolled onto the green. Nice. Ooh, he's got a big old hill to go down. Just gonna keep on rolling. Still not bad though, you can't do much better than that. Nice. Didn't roll out as much, but. Man. Woo! Woo! All right, what happened there, Ryan? I got a bogey. I got a bogey, what'd you get? I got double? a double bogey. All right, so me and uh, Keith Ty both get four points. Moose, wa Moose walks away with one. Obviously, I walked away with one because of these. We played really early today, uh, so it was real dewy out here, and my feet are soaking wet. So, another advantage they have. All right, here we are at hole number five. This is the first par five of the day, playing 549 yards. Looks like it's a dog leg. Dog leg left or right, Keith? Left and right. So it's a snake hole. It's both left and right. You want to hit a shot, maybe that goes 220, 240 yards right in the middle of the fairway there. Definitely don't want to go long and risk losing your ball. So let's see what we can do here. Alright, so Ryan just took a drop here. He hit his in the hazard, just stay a little too low. It's got a long way to go to the hole still, so let's see what he can do. And he did the right thing, just laid up, put himself in the middle in the fairway up there. Alright, Moose's first shot ended up here. He's just gonna hit a hybrid, just move on forward. Ooh, it's going towards the tree. Hey, kick left. Alright, here's Keith's second shot. Can't really go for it, so he's probably just gonna take an iron and Try to put it in the middle of the fairway. Oh wow. He went over all of those 50 foot trees. You might be right in the middle of the fairway or might be just short. That was a good shot though. All right, here's Ryan's fourth shot. Yeah. <laughs> I still got like two points. <laughs> Did it well. Should be parked. Hit on top of the hill, but it bounced back and it's staying up there. Nope. He's gonna have an awkward lie from there. Alright, here's Moose's third shot. Did kick out of the tree, landed right there. He's in some some bad lie, bad stuff. Let's see what he can do. Oh. Alright, got it on up there. Right past Keith. Alright, Keith is currently looking for his third shot. Definitely hit it over the trees, but he just doesn't know if he got got all the way over him, so he's looking for his ball. It looks like he just found it. All right, here's Keith's third shot. He's got about 100 yards to the pin. Hit it well. He's going to run it up. It's right in the fairway. He's got a chip and a putt from there. Nice shot. Here's Ryan with his, uh, his lie. Falls well below his feet. He's got maybe 50 yards. Oh, he hit it hard. It's going to roll right through the green. Gonna be off the back there. Ow, bro. Oh gosh. So Moose's next shot hit really well, landed a right there. Didn't get it on camera, but nice shot. Right, so Key just hit his fourth shot here. He'll be putting downhill for five there. There's my ball right there. I'll be putting for a double bogey. Let's see what Ryan can do. Get a chip. Oh, get yeah. down this hill. Settle. That's about all he could do there. Really hilly out here. It's gonna roll off there. This is Ryan's double bogey here. <laughs> and there was Keith's par shot. He'll be putting for bogey right there. Nice. 
All right, so Keith won hole number five. Uh, Ryan and I didn't do too well there. We both got triple bogeys and Keith got a bogey. So Keith walked away with five points. I have still yet to win a hole and Ryan and I both walked away with two. So let's uh, put in the comments, go Moose Dub, and let's, uh, let's see if I can turn it around. All right, here we are at hole number six. It's playing 420 yards and it is very uphill once you get to that middle stake. Just want to hit a good drive here and uh, see if we can get on in two. Yeah, baby, oh, right. up. Oh, you should be fine. All right, so being up here in, I guess, I guess you could say mountains, I'm. <laughs> My breath is is getting really hard to it's getting real hard to breathe right now. I'm very short of breath right now. Um, there's a lot of walking, trying to get this camera work done, and you know it's just affecting my golf game, which is why I'm losing right now. So I'm gonna get I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get my stamina up. I need an inhaler. That would, that would really help. So yeah, I hit a good drive here. Maybe this can be my hole. I know Ryan's on the cart path. Keith is probably gonna have to take a drop. Let's see what I can do here. All right, so Ryan's ball ended up. Right there. I got 176 uphill, as you can maybe see. And I don't know. I'm just going to try to hit up there and hopefully it gets the height. I don't know. Let's see what he can do. There's Keith looking for his ball. I don't know if he found it or not. Oh, I hit that really weird. It's going to come up short, probably, just to the right of the green. Just right on that hill there. Keith shot. I'll hit it low. It's a low stinger. Oh, I hit oh. those rocks. It's right over by those rocks up there. I don't know if we'll be able to find that one either. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's going to be short. Where'd it go? It's on the right. It's on the right? On top of the hill. It will bounce to the right. All right, so here's where my third shot ended up. I'm going to try and get up and down from here see what I can do. All right, here's Ryan's shot. Keith, he's over there behind the rocks. I guess he found his ball. Let's see what he can do from there. All right, he chipped his. Pulled his right there. Keith just hit a good shot from there. He's got maybe a 15, 20 footer. Get, oh, nice putt. Ooh, just roll right by it. Is for a par. All right, guys, so that'll conclude part one. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful course out here at Apple Mountain. It's definitely difficult. Uh, I mean, the yardage looks short, but it's got six par threes, so that's why. And if you miss, you're either on a hill or I don't know, it's just difficult. So I mean, hope you guys enjoy. It's a nice course. I definitely want to come back out here. Um, but that'll conclude part one. Make sure you like the video, uh, subscribe, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see when our part two goes live. All right, so I'm winning right now, but uh, let's see if I can sustain this lead and uh, check it out in part two and three. See you guys later.